Hello guys and welcome back to Rise of Prussia. Our campaign is going definitely an interesting way, definitely a way I didn't really see coming. The first Frederick here, I don't know if he's his dad or just another guy named Frederick, Holstein Beck over here has just fought off a fuck ton of Austrians in the middle of a siege where I utilized a traitor card and now... As you can see, we're actually ready to assault the city in terms of the actual siege, but due to our current cohesion, our power overall isn't so great. Our armies need to regain some of their cohesion, so I'm just going to leave him on the defensive because he has enough supply trucks, he has enough supplies to just kind of sit in and hold his own. He is fortified, he's vastly outnumbered in the area around, but he may run away and escape if he gets attacked that being said on the defensive for right now he's going to move to offensive the moment he gets into this territory i am going to send some reinforcements here another 672 power you know this is funny this is actually more powerful right now than this army although this army will have time to rest this army will be marching the entire way I'm going to send him down here to kind of reinforce a prog because I don't expect an attack. Either way, if there is an attack, it will have to take probably at least three days. I imagine it would take three days to move from here to here unless this guy attacks, in which case uh, I don't think this guy would instantly reinforce him. I don't know. This might be a death trap. It might not be. The scenario is closing towards its end. And really deploying him anywhere else probably wouldn't speed anything up anyway. At the very least, we do want to wear down the Austrians as much as we can. So, this army is set to arrive before the end of the turn. I'm actually tempted to... Can I do it from here? Is there like a force march option? Yeah. 75% chance of force march. I'm gonna actually enable that. So maybe he gets there in 10 days, I guess, rather than 13. He'll arrive more tired, but by that point, if there is going to be a battle, it would have happened already. At least this way we can ensure that he gets there by the end of the turn, whereas if we didn't do this, there's a chance he could get delayed. It does happen. We have seen it happen a good couple of times and end up not getting there as predicted. At least this way he, if it does succeed, he will get there by the end of the turn. In other news, the things we were trying to take last turn have pretty much been captured. I've gone ahead and merged these two units together already. A fort battery we captured, and just a cavalry unit. Funny how they had a fort battery defending a city with no fort. Let's give him sentry status so I don't have to worry about him. Also over here we have a fort battery which is inside the city. We need to grant him a cavalry unit. We're running out of cavalry units for this purpose, so let's split these units out. I will take you out. To the ball game and combine units again all right there we go so now we can get this cavalry dragged in with the fort battery cool and they're both inside the fortress put them on sentry status yep there you go good over here we got a little event the treaty of nymphenburg bavarian and saxon diplomats signed a treaty which would give Bavaria. Ma oh god how do i say this word moravia okay and upper silesia to saxony allowing this state to lin Lynn? With Poland and Upper Austria, Tyrol and Bohemia to Bavaria. Okay. I don't know if that's supposed to be line or maybe link. That, that sounds like it makes. I'm going to say to link with Poland. Yeah. I think that's a typo in a decade old game. Nice. And otherwise, we have a new Bavarian unit that I found. He's actually in here? Yeah. A new Bavarian unit I found in Amberg. Ready to enter Bohemia, he's... Wow, he really needs to get inside of someone's army. Hang on a second, hello? So this guy right here was able to avoid entering the offensive mode upon entering here, yet he wasn't able to go all the way through. He might be the big unit. He has a lot of cavalry. I believe he was referred to as a cavalry like corps or something, actually. What kind of units are these? Alright, so these are infantry. It's interesting that he didn't automatically get triggered for bow oh god okay i believe i fixed my accidental merging of these units here luckily it was a french group with a bavarian group so it was pretty easy to pick out the french gray backgrounds from the bavarian blue backgrounds but i'm probably going to take this unit here and run it down to just merge with the current bavarian unit here so i don't know if these men can attack yet because their leaders don't have the assaulter ability so for now i'm just gonna toss them all onto the assault because they don't have a 
breach in the fortification yet anyway, and they need one if they don't have the assaulter, but the amount of units defending this combined with the amount of units that I just have outside, you know, I don't know, it's about 2,500, maybe I should wait. Alright, you know what? Okay, I'll just put them all into the defensive, give them a turn to, oh god, to create a, Jesus, hold in the fortifications and also regain all of their composure here because they all are missing a lot of cohesion, maybe due to the efficiency, but also definitely due to the fact that they're on the offensive in enemy territory, and they probably got here towards the end of last turn. This guy will definitely arrive out of breath. I mean, it's going to take him 23 fucking days. Oh my god. Do we have ships around here or something? No, I don't believe so. Well, that's fine. We know what we're doing. Vaguely. So I'm going to take Rector Fugel here. Flugel. I'm going to try reading their names, even though I'm terrible at it, just because I am getting tired of just saying this guy, this guy, this guy over here, this one, that Frederick. I'm gonna try to read some more unique parts of the names, even if I mess it up, because the generic of this guy is actually annoying me. I'm gonna take Frederick II and move him to... Actually, wait, do we need Cosell? Cosell. Okay, we don't actually need Cosell, apparently. So I can skip over that. So what should I do with Frederick? Can I move him down here? Yeah, I don't think... Or at least I don't know if he can run through the cities, because, I mean, Flugel here has done it before, but none of these units were able to do it. I don't know if the Prussians can do it, or if that was just a bit of luck, maybe because there was no fort over here. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I've seen a Prussian do it before, but I haven't seen these guys do it. Maybe I'm imagining the Prussian doing it. It's really hard when the game's tutorial isn't so great. So instead, I'm just gonna move him down this way to this little fortified camp that was set up in the hills by the Austrians and then taken back uh, more recently and just basically claim it so that he's in the south. He'll get there towards the end of the turn so I don't have to force march him. He'll have a day of rest. And then I'll just take stock of the situation as it is because he's either going to end up going southeast towards Olmutz, which is something we do need to take before the end of the game to win, maybe. Maybe we just need to take the objectives. I don't know. Tropau is the last objective city we don't have, though. I don't... I, I don't know. I don't know what we need to win. So, we're gonna find out. That's why I'm not as worried about Prague, by the way, because if we only need the objectives to win, then these strategic cities don't matter. Prague is not an objective, it's a strategic city. And I don't believe at any point could they ever really take back any of the objectives should it come down to it, based on how powerful, well, Karl himself is, but also Flugel over here is. Flugel's been doing all this stuff by himself, combined with Karl, and no Austrian force would be able to stop him. Maybe unlike the current situation of these two units, but that may just be because I've trapped these guys behind enemy lines. I don't know. Maybe my decisions suck. Maybe they're going okay. Maybe they're going well. Looks like we've moved just about everything that we can. We're <laughs> gonna want to navigate these recruitments now. Oh my dear god, oh, there are so many French things here, of course, because we can't train French things, because there's no place to train them, so I guess this is where we're going to have to do it. And it's not even covering everything, so how many of these can I just do at once? Alright, well that doesn't tell me very much, but the amount of resources they need altogether isn't actually very much, so I guess I'll just do all of those and hope it's enough and just avoid recruiting anything new the proper way because those decisions don't take effect until the end of the turn. I, I'd rather not jinx myself. In the meantime, my supply lines right now are not perfect, so we're gonna have to use some reconnaissance, which I have a decent amount of. We don't own this, we, we don't need to own this, but we do need to own this. It is 48% in our control. That's problematic because it's not gonna let supplies pass through, I don't think. We're gonna wanna basically cover our lines. Oh dear, um, do you have cavalry? You have one cavalry. What if I split these units off? Because I, I do notice that, wrong button, here we go. I do notice that we can't use it facing this way. Not enough elements within the correct family. I think that's cavalry. Maybe it's a different type of unit. It's probably cavalry. I don't know, but I'm losing the ability to use reconnaissance over here. Why has your movement been cancelled? 
Stop stopping it and go do it. One thing to point out is, thankfully, because we've been keeping up with keeping cavalry behind us in these locations to keep them owned, our income of victory points and our one battles have resulted in us finally passing the Austrians four total victory points. Now their income is about half of ours, and if they do win a major battle by any means wiping out this army or something, I imagine they could still pass us, but with seven turns remaining and us steadily getting ahead of them, I have a good suspicion that we will end this campaign at the very least, owning all of the objectives, having the victory point win condition, if that's even a condition, we will have more victory points, which to me sounds like a victory. Our morale is already basically over twice theirs, and will probably continue to go higher and higher and higher. There is sudden death. Oh, and I, if I remember correctly from the manual, that means if we get it even lower, like low enough, they could just surrender if it gets down to like 50, 30, I don't know. But if we keep getting it lower and lower, they might just give up. Of course, if we suffer some major defeat over here, then that might be for naught, and we might just have to go to the end of the turn and see a stalemate screen. I don't know. Let's save the game though, I believe we've done everything we're going to do. Let's end the turn and pray to God, or whatever the Prussians, French and Bavarians believed in. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? I did not see any of this coming. Oh, sweet Jesus, right when you think you know what the AI is gonna do. All right, so we got a semi-sizable battle here. Ah, looks like we have the advantage at the very least, of course, we moved here. We got no time to entrench ourselves and the defenders of this city did come out to fight against us. We definitely did better than the Austrians did. They lost elements, we didn't. We lost men, 469 and 34 horses, really not bad compared to their 3,139 men, 714 horses lost. They lost about half the men they showed up with, which is a good result. That's not really what I'm focusing on here. It seems that the Austrian army has basically split up and completely left this area, which they have fortified, left it to us, in fact, to take. Uh, let me make sure everything here is locked. Uh, how are you doing? You're still recovering cohesion. Oh, wow. That entire time and you never actually recovered all your cohesion. Luckily, this army arrived and is in basically perfect health. Our supply trains are greatly, vastly running out of supplies. This does have a pretty good depot. So I am going to initiate the assault and we are going to take Prague. Its defenders are, oh, they're only at 198 power. You know, they, they cannot resist us. I do not know where all of the other enemies went. Luckily, we do have some fortifications around we have to keep an eye on Koingratz because we don't want to lose any of the objectives and we also have to keep an eye over here because now this unit is threatening our capture of Tropau. Got a little note saying the French Gassian Corps has reached Amberg as, and has Prague as target. Meanwhile, the elements of Saxon army mobilize at Freiburg. Really? So this army I'm supposed to send to Prague is actually a pretty good army. What happens if I do send it to Prague? 83 days to get to Prague? I'm sorry, how much time do you think is left in this campaign? We only have six turns. Each turn is two weeks. They'd have to go through Pilsen to get there. That means that with no delays and no change in travel time, like he's not allowed to deactivate once going here, it would take him the rest of the game just to reach Prague. What do you mean he has Prague as a target? I don't think the developers thought that one through, unless I'm missing something. Maybe if I had a river boat to bring him there. The problem is no rivers connect from here to here very easily, at least. Like, it'd, it'd be going down here and up here if you can even travel this way. And if you can travel on these rivers, which actually I don't think you can. I think it has to be its own river tile, which... Uh, these right here are not. You still have to reach here to take a riverboat down here. So I don't agree with what the game's telling me to do. Now what is this uh, Saxon army mobilizing in Freiburg? Oh, oh, I think we just, wait, what? Saxon, Saxon, Freiburg, Freiburg. Um, the Saxons, wait, 
Saxony. Saxony has joined the war to help us. We have Saxons now. I, I just have to, like, scroll through this to confirm. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, well, the Saxons have helped us. Or they've joined us to help us. They have terrible, terrible command. Wow, they just, <laughs> they're just buffing up Prussia or showing Prussia to be buffed up with the way that this is set. Maybe we can send him down to Prague. 41 days. That's not as bad. Pirna. Pirna. Koenigstein. Um, okay. Can we recruit? Okay, we can't even recruit any, like, bateaus for them. So they are just kind of forced to travel by land. So I guess I'll send him down here to Prague because he's actually close enough to get there. None of these other locations really matter. He's going to get there halfway through the rest of the game. But who knows, maybe he could be useful by the time he gets here. On the other hand, this man might as well... Oh god, movement. Just start heading down the road. He's not going to get there in one turn. He'll take two turns to get there, so he might as well start traveling. He may be needed at Vine. There's a Vienna. There is a size 2 fort here, a size 2 fort here. These are objectives, and I'm nowhere near... Nowhere near taking them. Supply is apparently present here. Which is interesting. I know we haven't started raising the countryside yet, so I guess supply is available here, which is good. Our supply is holding out. We cannot pass through these locations over here, uh, and I can't easily take control of the locations. Let's put a reconnaissance down here. This is the problematic region, unfortunately. So I'm gonna try to do something here, which may or may not be a good idea. I'm gonna take all these militia units, not 100%, maybe 100%, just not the cavalry that are keeping the locations claimed as mine, that I have kept in the rear lines until now. I'm gonna start sending them to Koingratz to enter on arrival in hopes that we can stop the enemy here from doing damage. I mean, this isn't a big enemy force. If he doesn't march on Koingratz right now, then these guys will get here and they will do what they need to do. I'm also going to send this one here to enter this fortification in the hills, just in case. And you, my friend, will also go to Koingratz. That seems to be the most important place for me to make sure that I keep defended for the time being. We'll have to see. I don't know if these are new or we just didn't have any ability to use these. Actually, no, we didn't have any ability to use these. We don't have enough engagement points to use all these. Okay, so there's no point in me really doing anything there. Now, what about reinforcements for everybody else? We need some Prussian line infantry, and I guess the Prussians are probably our most important units right now. I believe this is our line infantry unit, so I'm going to throw one, two of these down. Magdeburg and Berlin so we can make sure we're keeping up on our line infantry because we're going to want to make sure our army stays strong because we are in the range of all the objective cities based on how far down these are you know the strategic cities I'm just going to assume that we don't need them to win because if we do then we're probably not going to get a definitive victory screen down here this very incompetent force has finally done their job and put a hole in the fortifications so we're going to set everyone over to assault except for this guy because he has deactivated something we almost never see the prussian leaders do but he should still join in the fight i believe either way there's only 589 defending it we have the hole that we need we have a power of oh you're not who i meant to do that to um you just merge into there there we go okay so you are on assault at 764, 652, and 462 attack power, plus another 809 if he joins in the battle. That being said, I believe we should still win this over the course of the upcoming 14 days and shouldn't have to wait any longer after this before we can start marching on Vienna because it's only six turns left. The enemy morale has gone down a little bit more our victory points are still going up at a rate which the enemies just cannot keep up with. They're actually losing victory points that they're gaining. So they're not really going up 11 even each turn because they keep losing fights. I feel like they made a big mistake leaving me alone at Prague here. But Prague should fall in this upcoming turn. It should fall. I may be taking a risk by assaulting it so early, but the defensive force is just so tiny. I can't see this going wrong. For now, I'm just going to leave Flugel in the defensive so he can restore 
any cohesion he needs to and be ready for if this army comes back for another fight. There's no holes in the fortification. It's only a size one fort. We don't need it. But since we have time on his end, I do want to give him one turn to recover or just generally not to get caught with his pants down when an Austrian force comes marching in. Dear Frederick, on the other hand, he has enough supplies, he has enough cohesion, he's ready to make a punch into enemy lines. We're gonna send him to Olmutz because he's really good at tearing down fortifications by himself. Technically, again, technically behind enemy lines, this unit could easily move over here and then just claim control of it and then stop my supplies from traveling through here. But he has supply wagons, and if we keep taking locations leading up to here, I believe we will increase our capability, at the very least, to prevent any issues. If this man does not move over here this turn, then a militia unit should arrive, should enter the location, and should at least stop him from taking control of the fortification, thus making him less likely to run rampant through our territory. Hopefully this weird militia plan that I put into action is going to work. Hopefully it's not too late. Really, I, I really didn't see coming anything that has been happening for the time being. So yeah, let's just hope all this stuff goes well. So I'm going to save the game. We're going to hit end turn. And I'm going to clasp my fingers tight and Oh dear God, let everything go well. The assault on Prague has begun. Uh, we took a decent amount of casualties, more casualties than them, 1,221. Again, our cohesion was pretty shitty and they were very well fortified. Luckily, we have lost no elements. We did take damage and we have lost men. We took twice the amount of hits that they did, but Prague should now be ours and we should have the rest of the turn to rest and recuperate from what we've done. An assault has begun here. Our very incompetent combined Bavarian and French forces are attacking Linz. And it's going... Well, let's just say the Prussians would be doing a lot better. It's a victory. We've lost about half their units. No elements lost on either side. Their entrenchment isn't as good as you'd think. We actually had some entrenchment on an assault, which is interesting. We dealt about twice the hits we took. That's good. 45 thousand men and yet still more incompetent than you know 20,000 Prussian men okay thank god oh oh okay uh okay that's the turn's end luckily he did not cut off this location so as it stands supply is following our good leader Frederick through who is having some cohesion issues, but not so much that he wouldn't be able to annihilate this unit the moment he arrives in four days. So I think I'm gonna leave him on course to attack Olmutz because, well, not the city itself, but to arrive to attack the force that's sitting there. I mean, I could put him in the defensive for right now. Cool. He may regain a little more cohesion over four days, but when he arrives, he's going to automatically go into the offensive. He's going to attack this unit. It looks like a pretty small group of units, Compare this to this. It's just a brigade, maybe two. It's not gonna be any big problem for Frederick here. There are unfortunately no holes in this fortification, but our power is back up to where it needs to be. Our cohesion is restored. I'm going to go on the assault. We're not even gonna use the siege works. It's a level one fort. There's almost nobody defending it. So we're just gonna march our way in essentially. Not all of our units have arrived, but a lot of them have. So we're going to merge all these in with the cavalry to defend Koengrad. It's really, even when their cohesion comes back, it's not going to be a whole lot of power, but it's going to be enough that they're not as likely to surrender, I hope, and that they're more likely to hold on to the fortification during an assault. More than likely, they would just all die. And we've left one unit here to make sure we keep control of this location. You know, we're probably going to want to do the same thing here, actually. Let's send you all... <gasps> all by yourself down here. It's gonna take you a little bit. Enter the structure upon arriving so we can maintain a hold of this. The Austrians really set up a lot of fortified camps in their countryside for whatever reason. Okay, so, huh? Transfer? No, oh, I'm not trying to put you anywhere. God damn it. Uh, you're locked, right? Okay. Oh, we have flotillas. Wait, what? Where did, what? Where did we get flotillas? Huh? 
So I don't know when we got these units, but I just saw Austria destroyed the Prague Depot as intense fighting happened in the region of Prague. So Prague no longer has a depot. The Austrians straight up just destroyed the source of supply in the region just to fuck me over. Those jack asses. Oh my god. All right, let's get our units back into defensive for now while I figure out what the hell to do here. Because we are kind of now in a bubble, you see? We're in a bubble. There are still supplies here. The fort and the city and the harbor do add to supply, but not as much as a depot, of course. So we are still in supply, but we're in a bubble of supply, which is really interesting. The Saxons have barely made any progress getting here. Well, I mean, they're 27 days away, so I guess they have made progress. It just doesn't look like it. I guess getting from the mountains of Freiburg to Pirna was most of the journey. Now that they're on the road, even deactivated, they'll be moving pretty quickly. That's good. We need some more mobile units over here, so that should come in handy. Now we have to make sure that we have a cavalry. We have to split this up. Staying in Prague, so I'm going to take them right here, these caressers, and mix them in with the Prussian... God damn it. Uh, what did I do? No, don't in the flotilla. That's my fault. All right, so now they're in the settlement inside the fortress, which is a level 3 fortress. That's good. With the two fort batteries that we captured and I tossed in here off camera, actually. And we're going to want to take Brudenbach and give him back the rest of his cavalry. There you go. Thank you. The supply wagons here are just doing awful. Hopefully we're not, you know, strapped for supply. New units raised in the various cantons. Two units. Torgau, Torgau. What? There's nobody here. There's just a permanently fixed, what the fuck? And Dresden. Dresden. So yeah, it's just random defenses anyway. I did notice that the game didn't seem to tell me about certain units that were arriving. French, okay, maybe it's this. French Palastrian Corps reached Munchen and Lauwin. Meanwhile, the Saxon army concentrates on Pirna. Okay, so we do have some alerts of new units arriving. What is this? Is this something I move around? Uh, no, it is static or very slow. It must be recruiting or something. Ah! Okay, this is also not ready to go. Permanently fixed. Well, damn. What raise then? Okay, French. It's French. It's French army arriving. Some more power. That's very good. Looks like we actually didn't take Linz during that assault last turn. They had a battle and then they didn't win definitively. So they just kind of gave up by the looks of it. They just kind of gave up. Well, that's a shame. Uh, who is who is this? Oh, that's okay. That's that army I was sending down from there. There's so oh, many units down here. It's so hard to keep track of them. All right, so assault, assault, assault. We have two holes in this fortification now. This is excessive, and we're having problems with moving past here. I mean, it says I can move past here, but the defending units are weakened. We should be able to definitely take it this turn, right? Right? I don't know. Uh, I might actually change this man's order just because he's gonna arrive here at the end of the turn probably be taken by the end of the turn so i want him to start marching on vienna like immediately as for this french army i probably wanted to do the same you know just start marching immediately how long does it take to get here 13 days yeah same deal if there's an assault it's gonna be over by then if there isn't an assault you're just gonna get stuck there anyway otherwise all the units we have are here some of them are deactivated this is a hell of a force actually Command penalties, but this is a force. This is a Saxon force, if I've ever seen one. And I haven't. So I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing here. Hmm, this penalty is pretty high. What would happen if I would mix these units, I wonder? Well, I might slow this down for one. But let me... Oh, it's a three-star... What? It's a three-star general. Okay, well... For whatever reason, I can't put him into an army, even though he's a three-star general. I don't know if that's supposed to be a Prussian exclusive thing for right now, or... I, I don't know. But I'm going to maybe see about, and I may regret this, I'm going to save the game before doing this, merging this unit with this unit. Because their, yeah, their penalty maxes out at 35, and they were at 30 and 33, so I might as well just do this, and then send them at Prague. 31 days, so it's gonna take an extra four days to get there, but I mean, by that point, you know, we're talking about the end of the 
fucking thing, the whole thing that we're doing anyway. <laughs> I finally have an engagement point, so I'm just gonna spend it on that French artillery training. Not much else to spend it on. Our Prussian line infantry is still dwindling, so I am going to toss one final, probably, light infantry unit there to recruit, sorry, line infantry there to recruit before I start focusing on the Bavarians, I guess, who probably need reinforcements more, but we do have three of these, and I think each one is three uh, units, so that's nine total that I have being made right now. That being said, we're probably gonna need more elite infantry. God damn it, you know what? I don't even know what to do at this point. At this point, I do believe Prague is safe, so I'm actually going to leave the big Frederick here in defensive mode, I guess? It can be outside the fortifications, but I guess I'll just stick him inside the structure for now, just to take cover, you know, just to take cover. And this smaller group I am going to send back up the way they came, which is a little risky. I'm actually trying to put them in Forts March again, because if it succeeds, it failed last time. We will arrive in Koengratz by the end of the turn, and we will enter the structure. I'm just doing this because I see this big ass army over here and I think, oh, he wants to take Koengratz. That's not good. I need to keep Koengratz. And one way to keep Koengratz is to have more troops there. An extra however much power would certainly help, especially a general meeting up with all these troops, which certainly inspire them. He may just not force march, not get there in time. He may get there and immediately be thrown into battle and get his ass kicked. I don't know. The enemy's victory point income is down to 8 and ours up to 25, so it's looking pretty good for us. Morale is holding the current conditions. And with that, I believe we've done this entire turn. So we're going to pick this up in the next episode. The turns are just taking longer and longer as we go, so this definitely may go on longer than I expected. I do aim to, when this guy arrives... Maybe I'll put him on Force March, actually, to get them there in time. I don't know. I don't want him to be too tired when he gets here. Then that would free up this Frederick that's hiding in the city, currently recovering his cohesion, to do other things. I could probably make him leave early because this force is going to arrive. Maybe if he's ready to go cohesion-wise next turn. We'll have to see how that goes. But thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Yeah.